Hey guys, it's Colin here. Welcome back to the CSS Hero Academy. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to change the hover and active states of anything on your page. You usually would have seen this on a menu system. So if we come up to the top of this page here, you'll see that the active link is actually white. And if we hover over, you'll see that the hover changes to white on these other items here. And the normal state would be gray. So let's just start up CSS Hero and we'll target these and we'll, we'll show you how they work. Okay, so we'll click on the targeting tool. Wait for CSS Hero to start. Now I'm going to hover over the About link here. Click on that. Now, as you can see here, we've got this icon that has got a little arrow pointing to some lines. If I click on that, I get the opportunity to change the Hover Active Visited State. So the Hover one would be the one we're looking for right now because I want to change the color once my mouse hovers over that particular menu item. So I'm going to click on the Hover. And because this is a text element, I'm going to select the text and I'm going to change the color. So let's change this to something red so you can see what happens. Now, if I hover over this now, you'll see that it changes to red on all of those. OK, so that's the hover state taken care of. And next thing I'm going to do is just go back. OK, I'm going to come back up here. I want to change the normal state now. So I'm going to come up here and just click on normal. Right now it's gray, so we're going to make it something completely different, like blue. So if you don't see any colors here, just click on your, your sidebar there, and you'll see, there we go, blue. I'm going to make it a lot lighter so you can see, there we go. So now we've got a normal state of blue, and we've got a hover color of red. Now the only thing that stands out right now is this one over here. Now this one's a separate item on its own because in Divi is actually a top menu and it's the current menu link. So on this one, it gets a little bit confusing. I'm going to click on it. Now the top menu item is a separate item completely. So hover and active are different. Now the one you have to change on this one is the normal state on this one. So let's just change this from white. Let's make it to a green and we'll, there we go. And you can see that it uh, changes it completely. So that was just the menu items changed. Now, let's say I want to change the background color of this button once I hover over it. As you can see right now, it goes purple. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click on the Slide More button, but I've also got this option of clicking on this now. So I'm going to click on here, and I've got the Hover option again. I'm going to click on it. Now, because it's a uh, graphic, we want to change the background color of this one. OK, and it says it's gray, but I'm going to change it to, let's do red again. OK, and as you can see, if I hover over that, it makes it into that bright red. So you can do this on a lot of things. Now, if I come down here and select one of these icons, actually, you know what, let's select the blurb title. OK, I am going to go to the blurb title area. I'm going to click on the icon. I'm going to click on the hover option. It's the only option I have at this point. I'm going to change the background on this one to... Let's change it to green. I've got the color down here, it's already used, so I've got, I can select it from there. Now if I hover over here, you'll notice that the background goes green. Now, to make that really nice effect, I, what I will do now is I'll go back into the text and make the hover state white, so that the white will stand out on top of the background. You see how you can change those options? Very cool, eh? So, very simple to do. Choose your text or your background color, and then you can choose the little icon with the arrow pointing at some lines. Click on that, and you'll get the options to change all these. So right now I'm on the hover state. If I go back to the normal state, if I click on my text and want to change that color, I can change it for the normal state. And as you can see, I'm just going to actually undo that. So I'm going to cancel that. And that's it for today's lesson. So I'm going to set that all back to normal. That's the hover, visited, and active states. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. Please click on the subscribe button if you want to get more. And please share with your friends. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.